Hey guys, so this is part three of my birthday haul and I realized that it's totally ridiculous that I bought so much stuff with my birthday money that I had to put it in three parts. Um, yeah, I'm aware that I got a little carried away. Um, but I got a lot of things that I've always wanted to try that, you know, I just didn't want to spend that much money on. And um, I think your birthday is a good time to do that. And um, I repurchased some things that I've had before that I loved that had just gotten old that needed to be replaced. There is one thing that I'm not going to show you today because I am so blown away by it that I'm going to do a separate video on it. I don't know if I'm gonna, if that's gonna be this week or not. Um, but if I don't do it this week, I will definitely do it next week. But yeah, I just, um, it deserves its own video. It's so amazing. So let's get started. Let's get right into it. Uh, where should I start? I'm going to start with, let's start with Sephora. Okay, I went to Sephora multiple times, <laughs> multiple locations. And the first thing I'm going to show you is something that I got with uh, 500 points. It was a 500 point rewards perk. And I had seen this on the Sephora website and looked at a bunch of different Sephoras. Couldn't find it because I really wanted to try this. And um, so I was at a Sephora and it wasn't out there. And I was talking to the person that was ringing me up at the cash register and I was like, oh, there was this 500 point perk that I really wanted and I can't find it anywhere. And he said, oh, what was it? I said, it was Makeup Forever kit. It had four products in it. He said, you know what? He said, we had that before and I think we might have one or two left in the back. Let me go check. And he had it. And this is great because it gave me a chance to try four products by Makeup Forever that I've always been curious about. So if there's ever something that you're interested in and you don't see it, it doesn't hurt to ask because they went out in the back and got this for me. So here it is. Uh, like I said, I spent 500 of my rewards points to get this. And it's the Makeup Forever Artist Color Stars Kit. And what it comes with is, this was, this was the main reason why I wanted to try this. You get four samples of the artist shadows. I had swatched those at Sephora when they first came out and I didn't like the way they swatched. I know Temptalia uh, gave them, gave the product really high ratings on her review that she did on her blog, but I just, I didn't like the way they swatched, so I didn't buy any. So anyways, this comes with three shades and you can really only use it one time because it's just a sample. But it came with I-414, M-536, and D-826. And I know that a lot of you might not agree with my assessment of this, but they applied nice, but as soon as I started to blend, they just kind of blended away and started to look muddy when I blended them. So if you like Makeup Forever Artist Shadows, that's great, but... I personally did not like them and I would not purchase any of these in the regular size. They just didn't work for me. I didn't like that you couldn't blend them. Um, that's all I have to say about that. I feel kind of funny saying that because I know a lot of people do like those shadows, but I just personally didn't like them. It came with a... Uh, what's this called? This is called an Artist Plexi Gloss Lip Gloss. And this is the shade 100P. And I haven't gotten a chance to use this yet because I bought a lot of things in a very short period of time. So I haven't tried this yet, but I'm looking forward to trying that. Never tried any... I don't think I've ever tried any lip glosses by Makeup Forever. It also came with a sample size of their Sense Size Waterproof Sensitive Eye Cleanser. And I've tried this and I like it. And it's pretty much like most eye makeup removers that I've used. 
I used it once and I'm setting it aside to keep for travel. That way if I go somewhere, I mean I don't have any plans in the immediate future to go anywhere, but this would be really nice to have to travel with so that I don't have to carry my full size eye makeup remover. So this worked great. No complaints about that. And it also came with a full size eyeliner. This is the Artist Liner and it says M10. I'm assuming that that's the color number. You know how Makeup Forever always uses numbers instead of names. And it looked nice and was easy to apply, but for whatever reason, I found it to be slightly irritating. Um, I probably will use it once in a while, but I doubt I'll reach for it that often because, yeah, I found it to be a little bit, a little bit irritating. That's, you know, as far as the way it looked, the way it applied, it was fine, but yeah, so didn't really like that all that much. So I'm not sorry though that I used 500 of my points because that's what I like about the rewards program with Sephora is it gives you the opportunity to try things to see if maybe you would want to purchase it full size. And then I got a bunch of samples. Um, like I said, I went to Sephora multiple times and there was one Sephora that I went to that I had to wait in line for quite a while and the girl said, oh, I'm so sorry you had to wait so long in line and I was like, that's okay. You know, you kind of expect that sometimes when you go to Sephora and um, she said, well, I gave you a whole bunch of samples, uh, you know, for your weight. I was like, oh, thank you. So after looking through all the samples that she gave me, most of them were things that either I tried before and I didn't like or things that were for oily skin, I have dry skin, or just things that didn't really interest me that much. However, I did get this to try, which I have not had a chance to try it yet, but it's a product that I've always been curious about, and it's the YSL Touche Clot. And um, so you get, there's a sample in here for light, medium, or deep skin, so they covered, you know, the full spectrum, that way they could just hand everybody this card. And uh, so I am very curious about this, but haven't tried it yet and will be trying that out I'm sure very soon and I had saved a lot of points at Sephora so in addition to getting that 500 point perk that I showed you from Makeup Forever I also got a 100 point perk to try a again a product that I've always been curious about but didn't want to buy the full size unless I had actually tried it and that is the too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It's in the shade Medium Deep. They don't give you a choice. This is the one that they have. So I thought, geez, I don't know, you know, that's probably going to be too dark for me because my skin is light. But I had this feeling and I was like, I'm going to try it anyway. So I spent 100 points on one of these. Oh my God, you guys. Here's what it looks like. So they call it medium deep, but in my opinion, this would not work for somebody with medium or deep skin. I feel like this works perfect for me and I have light skin. So I don't know who the light one would work on because uh, you'd have to be, you know, extremely like porcelain skin, I think, for the light one to work for you. But anyways, yeah, this is medium deep. I've been using this to contour. I love this so much. This works so great for me as a contour and it blends ugh, blends like a dream and has the nicest texture to it. I can see why a lot of people like the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I have not used it as a bronzer yet. I've just been using it as a contour. So I don't know how I would like it as a bronzer, but I love it as a contour. I love this so much that the next time I went back to Sephora, I got another one. I spent another hundred of my points. So I think I'm down to not very many points uh, anymore. I, I think I might have one or 200 points left. So 
yeah, I used most of my Sephora rewards points on these multiple trips to Sephora. Another thing I got that I purchased at Sephora is uh, a Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick. I had one, but it was in a color that I don't reach for that much. It was like a bright fuchsia color. Um, let's see, what, what was the name of it? Melted Jelly Donut, I think. And, you know, I like it. I like it a lot, but I don't know. I just don't find myself... It's Fuchsia is funny with me. When it comes to fuchsia, I go through stages where that's all I want to wear. But then I just don't wear it again for a long time. I kind of get a little carried away overboard with it. So I decided that I love the formula of these. So I wanted to get it in another color. And I got Melted Peony. Or Peony. Peony, I guess, would be the correct way to say it. So this is just uh, light to medium pink. And this might not be the best time of year to be getting this because this to me is more of a spring or summer color. But I don't know. I was just in a pink mood that day, I guess, when I was at that particular Sephora. So that's what I got. So if you've never tried these, they have the, the really, really nice texture. Um, a lot of the liquid lipsticks don't feel that nice on your lips. And this one is not an uncomfortable feeling so got that and the next thing I'm going to show you is something I have wanted for so many years that I can't even believe it and it's by NARS and you know NARS is a very expensive brand so I don't have a ton of stuff by NARS because uh, it's very hard for me to plunk down money that much money for one product but I have it I like it I'm so glad that I got it and it is something that I haven't heard anyone talk about in a long time because this product has been out forever. And it is NARS Albatross. This is a very, very pale gold highlighter. And I have it on and it's, it's not a wham in your face highlighter like uh, the Balm Mary Luminizer, for example. It's more of a subtle highlighter, but sometimes I like that. Uh, I know the thing right now is to have a BAM highlighter, but I don't always want that. And this color works really nice for me because I have light skin. So gold can sometimes be tricky on people who have cool toned skin. And this is a gold I feel that works nicely on people with cool toned skin. So yeah, I have it on today and I really like this and it was worth the money. And um, you may remember in my last video, I was showing you that I had gotten Benefit High Beam. That was a repurchase. This was an always wanted type purchase. And the last thing I'm gonna show you from Sephora, what this was totally an impulse buy, but I'm so glad I got it. Usually I don't buy things unless I do a lot of research and uh, Temptalia had shown these lipsticks. Uh, it's, this is a new line of lipsticks by Buxom and Temptalia had done a blog post on these but then it was one of those blog posts that was kind of like an announcement of a new product but then she never reviewed any and I was waiting and waiting and waiting to see if she was going to review them and she never did. It's been over a month since she posted her original blog post. So I was really curious about these and I hadn't seen a lot of people on YouTube talk about them. I think I went looking yesterday to see if anyone had reviewed them and there was like maybe two reviews on all of YouTube and then there was a couple of people that I watched that had worn one in a video but I honestly don't remember them talking about the product itself but they just had it on in a video. Anyway it's by Buxom. It's a new line of lipsticks by them. And it's called Bold Gel, La Bold Gel Lipstick. And they have some matte formula ones and they have some satin formula ones. I bought one of the matte ones. And it has a magnetic closure packaging. So if you try to put it on any other way other than making all the letters line up it won't go 
So, you know, you don't have to be too careful with how you put the cap back on. You know how with some lipsticks you're going to make sure you snap it, otherwise it's going to dry up? You don't have to worry about that with this. So what I did was when I got home, I, I actually I got this yesterday. Um, when I got home yesterday, I uh, took off the lipstick that I was wearing because I was just dying to try this, and I love it. I would say, you know, these are kind of expensive. They're 20... 22 I want to say 21 22 dollars something like that so they're pretty expensive I got it in the shade ultraviolet uh, because I don't have a lot of purple lipsticks that I like I have um, maybe one of all my purple lipsticks that I feel like the color works for me because purple can be tough. Purple can be a really tough color to pull off, I think, for anybody. And if you have light skin, I think it's even tougher. I think purple lipsticks look amazing on women of color, but when you have lighter skin, it's really hard to find a shade that works well for you, I feel. Anyway, um, yeah, this is ultraviolet. This is a great shade for me. It's a cool-toned to me, it looks like an orchid type color, but they call it ultraviolet. Really, really pretty. Nice formula. Not uncomfortable on the lips. Extremely pigmented. If you've been curious about these new lipsticks by Buxom and you weren't really sure whether you should make the plunge and spend 20 something dollars on lipstick, I say go for it. I really really like this formula it's very creamy very nice on the lips very pigmented comes in a really great range of colors um, it's a Sephora exclusive so you won't see it anywhere other than Sephora there's the color swatched and yeah these these are really really nice I'm really glad I bought this and I will wear this for you in a video soon Today, I just really, really felt like, you know how sometimes you get in the mood to wear a certain lip product? So today, I just really felt like wearing this. This is um, Kat Von D Lolita, but I will wear this for you soon in a video so that you can see what it looks like on. So that is Buxom Ultraviolet. All right, so that's what I got at Sephora. Oh my God, we're at 17 minutes. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to fit everything else in here. All right, well, maybe I'll just show you a few more things then. Um, when I showed you the handbag that I got from TJ Maxx yesterday, I did buy one other product there, and it was a beauty-type product. And this is Alba Botanica Fast Fix for Under-Eye Circles Vanishing Concealer. I have a million concealers because <laughs> every time I see one that I haven't tried yet I buy it because I keep thinking oh maybe this will be the thing that will fix my under eye dark circles but um, yeah as you can see they are still there and no matter what I do they will be uh, they will be there because I think short of getting fillers or injections or something like that I'm not gonna get rid of them they're just too they're not really dark circles, they're like deep indentations on my face. And I think a lot of it has to do with age, a lot of it has to do with allergies. So, tried this. Works okay, I mean if you could, you, you guys have seen me without makeup, so you know how bad my dark circles are without makeup. So, it does kind of work, but anyways, I didn't use just this, I used another product. Um, what I did was, I put this on first. Then I put on my foundation, which is MAC Studio Fix Fluid right now. Um, then I put something else that I got recently, which is by MAC, and that is uh, Studio Finish Concealer. This is NW15. I usually go one shade lighter with my concealer than I have for my foundation. And this is one of the many things that I picked up at MAC. But obviously, I'm going to have to do that in another video. I can't believe this is going to have to be four pots. That's crazy. But anyways, yeah, so this is one of the things that I got at MAC. I've had this before. 
This works better for blemishes. If you're trying to cover up a blemish, this is a great concealer for that. So I had been having some breakouts I, ever since I've gone back to using Studio Fix Fluid though. I haven't had one single breakout. So one of the foundations that I was using before was breaking me out. I'm not sure which one because I was using a bunch of them at that time. But um, yeah, one of them was causing some breakouts. So I wanted to have this on hand for if I do get a breakout, I can cover it up easily with this. But I figured um, I would also try using it on my dark circles and it works pretty good with that too. But yeah, I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about this because obviously no matter what I use, I'm going to have dark circles that you'll be able to see. That's just how it is. Um, okay, I got a bunch of matte things that I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do another video, but... Um, Let's see, I've got one thing that's not MAC that I'm going to show you, just because this is the one beauty thing that I have left to show you that is not MAC, so might as well show it to you. I got, um, I got another Anastasia Beverly Hills single eyeshadow. I love these eyeshadows, and once in a while I want to pick one up when I can, because... I love them. I love the texture of them. They they work well for me. They apply well. They blend well. They come in a great assortment of colors. Kind of surprised that I don't hear more people talking about these single eyeshadows because I think they're wonderful. But anyways, I picked up um, Sangria and this is a... what finish is this? Satin. Pretty sure, 90% sure it's a satin finish and you know how I feel about burgundy eyeshadows, so it's it's gorgeous. I had it on in a video recently. If you look at my last two or three videos and read the description box, I had it on in a video recently. Let me swatch that for you. So that's Sangria, and it's it's kind of a burgundy color, I guess, and it's got some shimmer in it. And I'm 90% sure this is a satin finish. So I've got that. And um, I have a Sephora Z palette that I keep my Anastasia eyeshadows in. So this is what I have for uh, that brand now. And you can see that sangria just pop against all those neutral colors. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I hate to say it, folks, but I'm going to have to do a part, part four birthday haul. Which is crazy, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it tomorrow because I have plans, but so it'll either be up tomorrow or Friday, which means next week I'll have to do my DIY video that I was going to do, and I'm going to have to do um, that other video that I was telling you about with that product that I bought that I love so much that I want to do a separate video on it, and... I was going to do a September favorites video, but I don't know. <laughs> so that's it for today, I guess. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.